Does insurance cover this? Let's ask AI. I'm Scott Meyer, co-founder of Chip, and Chip is a tool that makes it easy to build AI tools that actually get business value. Now, one thing, if you are a medical provider, any business trying to provide information to a customer, you might need to refer them to documents. So we've worked with dentists who often are getting asked the question, will insurance cover this? Of course, it depends on the person's plan and on what procedure is being done. But what's nice is that with AI, you can actually give answers to a lot of these questions. This minimizes customer support needs so that your staff has more free time to do their work and is not constantly interrupted. It also empowers people to visit because they feel more comfortable coming, knowing that a plan will be covered and that it'll actually work. So whether you're a medical provider or just a business looking to give information to potential customers, you can do that with AI. Let's head over to the computer and show you how you can combine two concepts we've talked about, the chatbot and document search into one powerful tool to help grow your business. To get started, we're going to go to chip.ai. Chip allows you to build custom chat GPTs that will actually work on your website that you can brand and train on specific documents. Today, we're going to look at a dental insurance assistant. Even if you're not a dentist, with which most of you probably are not the same, uh, even if you're not a dentist, which I'm guessing most of you are not, the same techniques can apply to your business. Think about what qualifications or onboarding is needed before someone works with you. So if they have to answer questions or have documents ready or have anything in place before talking to you, that's what this tool will help you do. So this is an assistant to, to help. So this is an assistant before someone can work with you, right? Now there's two big pieces that we're gonna look at here. The first is going to be the knowledge source. Now you can either ask the user to provide it or you can build it in. In the dental insurance world, most people don't have their insurance laying around, but they might know what it is. So we can actually upload the insurance plans into the knowledge source. So wherever you work, you can upload the most common insurance plans. So for example, this one right here has details about that plan. We upload one for every insurance plan that's common in our area. If you're doing another business, uh, you know, documents that they have to have in place, you can upload those uh, information sheets so that they're going to ask questions about those. So this knowledge source trains our AI to know what uh, information to give back. Now, the second part of our assistant is the instructions. This is where we tell our AI tool how to behave. Now, what we're going to do here is an interesting combination of step prompt and branch prompting. So step prompting is where we ask our information to be given in a certain order. So for example, we're going to ask for our person's name and then ask if they need help understanding their dental plan. But what you see we've done here is we've actually put multiple options within one prompt. So we can say, do you need help with a dental plan or help appealing a decision? This is what's known as a branch prompt. So we ask them a question. Based on their answer, it's going to go down a different path. So if they need help with their dental plan, uh, we're going to proceed to the next step. And we're going to ask what their dental plan is and then tell them if their dental plan covers the work. If they need help appealing a decision, we're actually going to jump down to the appeal step. So we have a different part of our prompt for that answer. You can think about it as a choose your own adventure. If they say they want help with appeals, now we have a whole nother set of steps that is going to follow through. And in this case, it's going to help the client actually appeal the insurance decision so that they get coverage for, for care that already was provided. This combination of step prompting and branch prompting is really powerful for businesses, whether you're a dentist or whether you do something else. You may need to ask your clients if they're trying to get documents to start working with you or if they have a problem that they need help with. And you can do all of that within one assistant. So you're really getting a full 360 assistant that helps people regardless of their needs and with specific steps along the way. So as you can see here, it's going to follow through on the appeals if they need that. Let's go take a look at what it looks like. So if I say I need help understanding my dental plan, it'll jump right to that part of the step. And so it's going to ask my name as we kind of prepared it to do, right? This is our step prompt. And then it asks, what's the name of the dental plan? Well, let's say it's more like Delta Dental. North Dakota, right? And now it's going to pull the information about that dental plan and tell me what's covered. And then I can even have uh, procedures that I'm going to get and it'll tell me if that's going to be covered. Now, this is really powerful, but you want to put this in a place that's really easy. That's why we go to the share tab last and get the embedded widget. So we copy this code and we just put that into the footer of our website. Now, when you put it into the footer of your website, it's going to look something like this. Here you can see someone in the Netherlands who embedded a chip chat. And now they can click that and people can just chat with it. So whether you're a business owner or a dentist, there's probably information that potential clients might need to answer before working with you. You can give them those answers with AI and even give them multiple paths. So you can have a single assistant to talk to your customers 
and field questions and answer them in the correct way, regardless of if they're just starting or are longtime clients. We can't wait to see how you use step prompting and branch prompting to create powerful assistance that'll grow your customer base and keep people satisfied. And most importantly, we can't wait to see what you build. So we'll see you next time on a chip challenge here at chip.ai.